Hello, everybody. It's good to see you all this morning. Um, I'd like to just um, welcome those of you who are here in church with us today. And if anybody else wants to join us in the first couple pews, you are more than welcome to. And I'd also like to just say welcome to those of you who are joining us online this morning. It's great to be with you here today. So today, we are going to be talking about a passage in the book of Matthew. And in this passage, Jesus talks to us, it talks about how Jesus sent out his disciples. And he told them that they were going to be, they were going to make more disciples all around the world. And they would baptize the new disciples and they would be responsible for teaching them all about God and God's word. Jesus gave them a pretty big job to do. Wouldn't you say so? Yeah, it's a pretty big job. And I bet they were feeling a little bit overwhelmed. But Jesus says in the passage that Jesus is going to go with them. And so when Jesus sends us out, he goes with us too and supplies all that we need to accomplish what he sends us out to do. So here in our church, there are lots of things that make it possible for us to care for people and to help people. We are all able to give uh, help. Uh, we're, all, we're all able to give to help us carry out the church's ministry, to help us show God's love and to tell God's stories to other people. Did you know that? No. <laughs> we invest our time we give the gift of our time to say, yes, I'm going to help, and yes, I will lead, helping out at the food pantry or in children's church or in any of the ministries that we have going on in the church. We invest our talent. Did you know we invest our talent too? No. Well, we give the gift of our abilities um, like people who are teachers or people who are good listeners or people who are dancers or people who know how to fix things or people who have musical abilities. These are all talents that we can share in our church. And we also invest our treasure. We invest the gift of some of our money to help with the needs of the church, like buying food for hungry people, or helping pay to clean up when there's been a flood somewhere or some other sort of situation, or helping keep the church building clean and safe so that we can worship and welcome and serve in these spaces, or to help pay for the supplies we need. Yes, Fletcher? Well, we, have, we, we need supplies to clean the church, and people clean the church, so... Did you, do you know where our time or our talent or our treasure come from? Do you know? Do you have any ideas? No. Up there? Well, kind of. Well, they come from God. All the time and the talents and the treasures that we have, they are gifts that are given to us from God. So stewardship, can you say stewardship? It's a big word, stewardship is taking care of something that we've been given. So who here has a room that they sleep in? A room. Everybody has a room. Maybe you share it with your, with your sibling, your brother or sister. Um, but keeping your room, who here has to clean their room? Yeah, we all have to clean our room sometimes. So keeping your room clean and taking care of your things is a way that you practice stewardship of your room. Does that make sense? So taking care of something, keeping it clean, making sure it's in good condition is a form of, is a way we practice stewardship. So in the church, we practice stewardship all of the time. Did you know that? We practice stewardship all of the time. Um, and with our time and our talent and our treasure that God has given us in ways that we can care for others as Jesus would do. During worship, we will have a time to thank God for those gifts. So Jesus goes with us and gives us the time and the talent and the treasure that we need to love and serve others. 
Does that make sense? Yes. So Jesus goes with us and um, also gives us the time and talent and treasure that we need to serve others. So let's pray. Let's pray this morning. Loving God, thank you for helping us be good stewards. Help us to show your love and teach your story to those around us. Amen. Amen. Okay, you all can go back to your seats, and I'll see you in a little bit.